name's Alicia, and I had a kidney transplant when I was 20. I have a disease called keratoconus, and I've had a cornea transplant because of it. I'm a liver transplant recipient. Transplantation is one of the medical miracles of our time. Giving people with diseased or damaged organs and tissue, lungs, hearts, eyes, a second chance at health and life. I'm Sean Elliott. I, I'm a former player for the San Antonio Spurs. In 1999, I needed a kidney transplant, and seven months later, I was able to return and play basketball again. In the United States, the number of people waiting for organ transplants keeps going up. 75,000, 80,000. Every day, about 15 people die before a replacement can be found. And every 13 minutes, another name is added to the list. My daughter Carmen was in need of double lung transplant. She waited two long years, but no lungs came in time. The majority of Americans say they support organ and tissue donation. Many have signed organ donor cards or check yes, so why the donor shortage? For one thing, many potential donors don't realize the importance of discussing it with their family. They think that signing a donor card is all that's necessary. But it's essential to let your family know what your wishes are, because in the end, doctors can only do what your family says. There's no way to be a donor without your family's consent. At age 16, Clay was struck and killed by lightning on the football field as he practiced. And one of the things that he did is that he chose to be an organ donor. We knew these were his wishes. Each person who becomes an organ donor has the potential to restore the health of more than 50 different individuals. And one donor can save the lives of as many as eight people on the waiting list. The most prevalent myth is that uh, if you are a donor and people know that you're a donor, that the doctors won't take care of you. Another area of misunderstanding involves organ and tissue allocation. Some people mistakenly think that wealthy people and celebrities are given priority. Which is not true for the simple fact that uh, my parents did not have any kind of money, at least not for that. The organ sharing process is fair and impartial. It isn't who you are, it's how sick you are, and how quickly doctors can find the right physical and medical match. The facts about donation and transplantation are available from a number of sources, including Texas-based Lisa Landry Childress Foundation. Formed in 1995 by former Dallas Cowboys coach Tom Landry and his family, the foundation is named for his daughter, Lisa Landry Childress who received a liver transplant that extended her life by four years. The Foundation's purpose is simply to further public awareness of this important issue. We want people to know that they're us, just like people helped Lisa. You can change somebody's life, you can change a family's life, and you can leave a tremendous legacy behind. To catch the spirit of what it really means, and then pass it on.